In previous videos, we saw how to develop, prototype, and execute our application for smart devices. Now that our application is ready, we need to roll it out by publishing it on a server or in the store of the platform of our choice. In developing an application for a real estate office, we are creating a corporate application since it will be oriented at the realtor staff and customers. Most web applications belong to this category, and in this case, so would the mobile application, which is part of the solution implemented. But there is an important market of mobile applications that includes applications for personal consumption or for public use. An example of these is the application we have been developing for an event to be used by those attending it. In developing this type of applications for smart devices, the natural rollout or means of publication are the virtual stores of different platforms. However, in the case of corporate applications, because they are to be made available only to those who are part of the organization, they are not published in virtual stores to avoid all users from accessing it. The rollout of a corporate application usually takes place on the company's private server that's accessed through the internet. When it comes to generating the application in Genexus, and on that server, besides the web application, REST services and the native application are also copied, with APK, JAD, IPA, etc., depending on each particular case. This enables the smart device application to be installed on devices and executed by accessing the REST services in the corporate server, which will in turn access data located in the corporate database. Genexus has been working on facilitating the rollout of applications that call for a private server, in the idea that, through Genexus, users will be able to contract cloud services from providers such as Amazon, Windows Azure, Google Cloud Platform, and so on, in order to roll out their private application in the cloud with exclusive access for the application's users. By pressing F6, Genexus will generate an automatic deploy to the cloud server configured to facilitate the process. For further information, visit the site shown on screen. To be a part of the community project that discusses the issue of setting up and rolling out applications, become part of the Build and Deploy forum at the GX technical site, as shown on screen. For the publication of personal consumption applications, the virtual stores available are Google Play for Android applications, Apple Store for iOS, BlackBerry App World for BlackBerry, Windows Store for Windows 8, and Windows Phone Store for Windows Phone. Virtual stores are basically application catalogs where users may search for applications to be downloaded to their devices. To make searching simpler, applications are divided into categories. The stores implement ranking mechanisms based on the number of downloads and user preferences, and define certain applications as free, while others have to be paid for. The developers of applications for smart devices can benefit from numerous advantages provided by the stores. Some advantages are reaching a great number of users because the market is growing steadily, having the solution for collecting the costs of paid-for applications, having available mechanisms to forward notifications to users in every application update, and having statistics available relative to the number of times that an application has been downloaded, as well as on what devices and so on. In a way, these are democratic aspects of developing for smart devices because all developers have equal opportunities to make publications. In order to publish applications in virtual stores, there are three stages to fulfill. One is the registration, a mandatory requirement in all stores in order to upload and publish applications for smart devices. Here are the links to access each site. The second stage is the preparation of the application, that is, follow a number of steps to achieve a successful publication. The referred steps include the following. Reviewing the documents provided by virtual stores in relation to design guides in order to avoid the application being rejected. Signing the compiled pack corresponding to the application, as we already saw. Obtaining the resources necessary, such as images, icons, screen captures, etc., which will be requested at the time of publishing the application. And versioning the application. All this implies having a version number for each application 
that will be modified according to whether it's a first version or an update. In Genexus, we have properties to automatically manage the versioning of applications. Let's see how this works. The properties for the application's versioning are associated with main objects. In the case of our travel agency application, the main object is the dashboard. We see that, for each platform, there's a group of properties to manage the versioning. More particularly, there is the version code, which is 1.0 by default, for the first version generated. Once the application is published and installed by end users on their devices, when the time comes for an update, we have to consider the version code. This is because, in the case of minor changes, such as changes we could make in events or anything that does not affect the database, there will be no need to publish or approve the application again. And updating the application on the devices will be enough, in which case, we will be generating the 1.1 version of our application. In the case of more significant changes, such as changes to services or in the database, we will need to install a new version, that is, a new package of the application, in which case, we will generate the 2.0 version so that the update process will take place automatically. Then, depending on the version code, there will be just an update, or, otherwise, we will have to replace the application. The user is informed about this through messages sent upon the execution of the application. The last stage is the publication of the application on websites corresponding to each virtual store. Upon accessing the site, we must first perform the authentication with the corresponding account and then upload the application's package, with the price, in the case of a paid-for application, plus all the information required and indicated in the preparation stage. And in the end, we must await the approval of the application for it to remain online, with the possibility of being downloaded from the corresponding sites. This video has shown us the advantages we have in Genexus for prototyping and executing on various platforms, as well as an easy way to roll out and publish our smart device applications. Additional information on this rollout process is available through the links shown on screen.